Good day everyone. This is another recorded video discussion of one of our lessons in Practical Research 2, which is the continuation of research introduction or how to create a research space. In my previous video about writing a research introduction, we have learned that research introduction establishes the scope context and significance of the research being conducted by summarizing current understanding and background information about the topic, stating the purpose of the work in the form of the research problem supported by a hypothesis or a set of questions, etc. And in this video, I'm going to discuss practical moves or steps in writing a research introduction. So we have what we call create a research space or CARS model of research introduction by John Wales. Okay, the model of John Wales is the widely recognized model of writing a research introduction because of its logical organization and it provides complete details that an introduction should auto present. Okay, the moves will help you write your arguments in your research introduction clearly and convincingly. So we, by using the CARS model of Jens Wales, it will help you use moves that organizes the thoughts, the ideas, information necessary to provide in your research introduction. So this is the format being used in international publications. Okay, first, we have move one, establishing a territory. Provide the context of the research, the necessary background. So you choose a topic, define the topic, then provide observations from different experts regarding with your chosen topic. And each move, um, there are steps that can help you in order to narrow down your arguments in each move. Here in move one, we have step one, claiming centrality. Convince the readers that the research about to be reported is part of a lively, significant, or well-established research area. So the topic that you're going to study is significant and important in the related fields. So the problem is relatable in different contexts. Thus, it should be investigated through research. Okay, move number one, step two, making topic generalizations. Statements about current knowledge, practices, or phenomena in the field. So we have to discuss here what's the status quo, what's the current situation, what's happening in the reality. Move one, step three, reviewing previous items of research. Relates what has been found on the topic and who found it. So here you have to provide your claims and findings of related studies. And you need to relate your study to other existing studies and compare if you have the same observation. Since your study is not new at all, you need to establish what spells the difference between your study and theirs. So all studies have limitations. Then move to establishing a niche. So this is the next move after move one, establishing a territory. So in this move, the author argues that there is an open niche in existing research, a space that needs to be filled through additional research. So this means that you have to argue that there is a problem that needs to be filled in. There's a loophole in the previous studies that wasn't addressed. Hence, your research can be used to provide an answer to that open niche. And we also have indicating a gap. The author demonstrates that earlier research does not sufficiently address all existing questions or problems. So in this part, specific part of move two, you have to explain that there is a gap in the previous research studies. So in order to bridge that gap, additional research is needed to conduct. Then question raising. The author asks questions about previous research, suggesting that additional research needs to be done. So you have to problematize the gap that you observed and transform it to a question. And you can use it as your starting point to further your investigation. The next, continuing a tradition. So the author presents the research as a useful extension of existing research. So you can use 
existing methods that previous research used. So it's important that you have to use established framework in order to strengthen the validity of your research methods. Then lastly, which is move number three, occupying a niche. In this move, the author turns the niche established in move two into the research space that he or she will fill. That is, the author demonstrates how he or she will substantiate the counterclaim made, fill the gap identified, answer the questions asked, or continue the research tradition. So this is the part of the research introduction where you have to explain how can you fill in the gap. Hence, you have to discuss your solution in this part. Your proposed solution is the main argument of this move. So move three, step 1a, outlining purposes. The author indicates the main purposes of the current article. So you have to explain why do you need to conduct this study. In move three, step 1b, announcing present research. So the author describes the research in the current article. So you have to discuss what your research is all about. Move number three, step two, announcing principal findings. The author presents the main conclusions of his or her research. So explain here how can your target community benefit your study because you already have a projected outcomes of this study that you want to conduct. Okay, move three, step three, indicating the structure of the research article. So the author previous organization of the article. So there should be a short synthesis, maybe a few sentences of your whole research. So in general, when we say move one, establishing a territory, it pertains to the situation. You have to explain here the situation that you have observed. So the steps are making a centrality claim, making topic generalizations, and reviewing items of previous research. We move to establishing a niche. So in this move, it shows the problem that you want to deal with in your in your research. So we have counterclaiming, indicating a gap, raising a question, continuing a tradition. So it talks about the problem in your research. And lastly, move number three, occupying the niche. So it refers to the solution that you want to propose in order to address the problem that you indicated in move number two. So in occupying the niche, there's outlining purposes, announcing present research, announcing main findings, indicating structure of the paper. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.